It's the Sammy Modlin Show, starring Sammy Modlin. Sammy's guests tonight are Bobby Bittman, Lola Heatherton, Lady Tang, and the station manager of the FCTV network, Mrs. Edith Prickley. And now, here he is, the talented, the over-emotional, Sammy Modlin. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Boy, thank, you. Well, <laughs> thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Well, have we got a show for you people tonight. Woo! Now, first of all, we're going to... Sammy, may I interject? Now, I caught your one-man act at the new Zanzibar room in Lake Tahoe, and it was just fabulous. You tore the zebra skins right off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> now, may I just say, may I just say to you that it is an honor for me to have you, Sammy, Mr. Entertainment, sign my paycheck every week. Well, yeah. Sammy Maudlin! <laughs> Isn't he something? Woo! Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. But, you know, speaking of dynamite talent, they don't make staff announcers any better than this man right here, ladies and gentlemen. William. William, you have taken what a lot of people consider to be a really dull job, and you have turned it into a craft. You have made staff announcing into an art form, and I mean that. I mean it. <laughs> Now, thank you so much. You know, Sammy, coming from you, that's quite a compliment. You know, you are known as Mr. Entertainment in this business, but you are also known as Mr. Artform. He is spectacular, isn't he? Sammy Marlin, Mr. Spectacular as well. <laughs> Speaking of spectacular, now, we've got a spectacular show for you tonight. Now, we're going to be showing some clips from a new film starring funny man Bobby Bittman Ooh. in his first dramatic role. Now, it's a remake of the movie On the Waterfront, and it's going to have its world premiere right here on SCTV Saturday night. And it's all too exciting, and right now, I want to bring out the lady responsible for having that film premium on SCTV. I'm talking about the station manager of SCTV, Mrs. Edith Prickley. Woo! Let's hear it. Yeah. I'm It's an honor to be here. Come on, sit down, boys. <laughs> oh, boy. Look, let me get right to the point. I don't have too much time. When I took over the job for Mo Green as SCTV station manager, I said to myself, prickly, I said very seriously, thank God you're in tune with the people. You know what they want, you know what they don't want. Now, you know what they don't want, Sammy? What's that, Mrs. Prickly? Oh, come on, cut the formalities, call me Edith, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to see the same old faces on film. You know, your Bob Mitchums, your Larry Oliviers, your Nick Noltes, you know, the superheroes. Now, don't get me wrong, Sammy, I'd die for sponges with Nicky any day. <laughs> <laughs> But on the screen, the little people out there want to see the little people up there. People like Bobby Bittman. People that we can all relate to. And that's why I am pleased as punch, and I say this very humbly, to have scoped away this marvelous remake of On the Waterfront away from the big networks. What a coup if I don't say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, we're going to be showing some scenes from the movie later on. Yeah, unfortunately, and, uh, I can't watch them, sweetheart. Uh, we're shooting a, a series, you know, the Wild Kingdom series down the hall, and when they're through with the animals, I want the skins. <laughs> Okay, look. Enjoy, enjoy. Keep watching SCTV. Leave it quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Well, right now, we're going to bring out the star of the film we've just been talking about. Well, uh, he's a man who personifies comedy himself. That's right. Wherever he goes, he leaves people laughing. I'm talking about funny man turned serious actor, Mr. Bobby Bittman. Woo! Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey, hey. say something we've been trying to get you on this show for for weeks but you know you're so busy you just don't seem to have a minute that's right touch wood <laughs> <laughs> touch wood all right now look uh, you want to tell us a little bit about this film now rumor has it 
that you are absolutely brilliant in it. Uh, Sammy, I heard that too. And uh, I just want to say, you know, I've always been interested in drama or heavy acting. You know, I've just been waiting for the right vehicle. And uh, I noticed they were doing a lot of, uh, and Sammy, you'll know this, you gotta be very perceptive in this business. You gotta keep your eyes and your ears open all the time. I noticed they're doing a lot of remakes. Uh, Rocky and French Connection and all those films and so forth and so on. So I figured, you know, pick a classic, remake a classic. So I picked On the Waterfront, uh, what a challenge that was. And uh, it's called On the Waterfront Again. <laughs> And uh, I think I added some twists in the, uh, in the uh, part that uh, Brando missed, to be quite frankly. Maybe if you'd taken a little more time rehearsing, who knows? <laughs> All right, now, you brought some uh, clips from the film with you. Do you want to set these up? Uh, the first clip, Sammy, I believe, is uh, where me and my girlfriend played superbly by Lola Heatherton. A fine actress with a great pair of legs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, getting back to me... Uh, we discover my brother Charlie hanging on a stevedore's hook in a back alley. He's just been killed. And uh, it was a very dramatic and emotional moment for me, the dramatic actor. And Sammy, I want to tell you, I couldn't tell a joke for ten minutes afterwards. All right, then. Let's take a look at a scene from On the Waterfront again with Bobby Bittman. Terry, please stop. Terry, I'm afraid. Let's get out of here. It's not safe. They'll kill you. They'll kill you. What, are you trying to cheer me up? I'll be honest with you. That kind of cheering up, I don't need. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Edie. I love you, Edie. You're the first good thing that's happened to me. tell you something that that was dynamite acting i am so moved by that I, i'm still spellbound you'll notice that uh, i did keep a little levity in that extremely <clears throat> emotional and difficult acting moment uh, because i when i say i i mean me the dramatic actor uh, i believe there's humor in everything what about that lola heatherton isn't she great uh, she was uh, okay well why don't we bring her out right now ladies and gentlemen Bobby Bittman's co-star in On the Waterfront Again, Miss Lola Heatherton. All right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oh, boys! Oh, boys. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi, Chantel. Just, that was, I just want to say that was sensational. You could really, really act. Oh, thank you, sir. But really, I owe it all to this man right here, Bobby Bickman, who gave me the opportunity to prove to the world that, hey, I can act. I can really do it. As good as Eva Marie Sait, or Elizabeth Taylor, or Bette Davis, or anybody. I love you, Bobby Bittman. I want to bear your children. <laughs> You know, but Lola, as a comic, in all seriousness, you know, I knew as a dramatic actor with uh, possibly an inclination towards uh, directing the Broadway stage one day. I mean, at this point, it's too early to tell, but I knew that you had more to offer than, than just being a sexy broad. <laughs> I was just afraid my performance would be shallow. Well, it was in a few places, but I think overall, you proved to the world that when you're acting with somebody good, it really rubs off. <laughs> well, you certainly did. Certainly did. And I just want to say that uh, the next scene we're going to see now, uh, Bobby, this is that famous scene between Steiger and Brando in the back seat of the car where your brother tells you not to s testify. Now, uh, who plays the part of your brother in this? Your well, brother Charlie. Well, uh, that's an interesting point, Sammy. You know, I auditioned thousands of men for that part, and only one man could hang on a stevedore's hook and act the part of really being dead. And that man was Lin Yi Tang. All right, here we are. Another clip from On the Waterfront again with Lin Yi Tang and Bobby Bittman. Come on, driver, hurry up! We haven't got all day. Charlie, you were my brother. You should have looked out for me just a little bit. Well, didn't I look out for you? I got you that big fight with Joe Fraser. But... Too bad for you, my friend. It just wasn't your night. Wasn't my night? <laughs> Charlie, I could name a million nights that wasn't my night, but that particular night was my night. I mean, I was so-so during the day, but when the sun went down, that was it. The night was mine, it was my night. Not yours, not his, but mine. So what happens? He gets a shot at the title in Zaire. And uh, I end up with a one-way ticket to uh, Palookaville. Palookaville? Didn't you always have some money in your pocket? Didn't I look after you? You always had some change. Oh, okay. Maybe you never had enough to buy a castle. But still, you had enough. Charlie, sweetheart. Oh. You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a... Somebody, instead of a, instead of a bum, which is what I am. Let's, uh, let's face it, Charlie. Well, how am I supposed to know that? Who am I, some kind of mind reader? Okay, my friend. The jig is up. It's curtains for you if you testify. And curtains for me if you testify. It's a tale of two curtains. Come on, hurry up! Oh, Charlie. That was just dynamite, man. Give me five. <laughs> dynamite again. All right, why don't we bring him out right now? Bobby Bittman's co-star, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lin Yi Tang! <laughs> You know, I've seen this guy in a lot of karate movies, and believe me, he is a great actor. I'd like to see you do Hamlet one day. He's great. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. 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 Thank you.
Bobby. Bobby, I just want to compliment you on your excellent, excellent casting. Now, I would have thought that the, uh, a man of obviously oriental persuasion playing the part of your brother Charlie in this film would be a little bit confusing to the audience. Oh, you think perhaps a round eye like you would have been better? A <laughs> <laughs> round eye, get it? round <laughs> eye. Now, Sammy, listen, I've learned from working with Lynn and Bobby and from my experience on this picture at large that when you're doing a scene and you're really, really acting, it doesn't matter if you're white or you're Jewish, or you're Chinese, or you're Bulgarian. Yeah, good actors are like a big ball of steamed rice, you know? They stick together. <laughs> well, I'm hot today. It's, uh, you know, in essence, Sammy, good acting does not have to take a backseat to race, creed, or color. Oh, no. Oh. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Yeah. All right. Now, I think this is going to be a hot picture. I think we're talking Oscar bait for this movie. And I'd just like to take this moment to say that you three prove to us all that if you apply yourself, anybody, no matter how bad, can act. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank you. What a compliment. Well, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, watch that show. It's on Saturday night at 9. It's a super special on the waterfront again. It's a world premiere, Saturday night, SCTV. Okay, thank you, thank you, Bobby. Good night. Oh, thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Get out of here. I gotta hurry out. Sorry, I'm in a big hurry. Bye. Six Green Berets escape from a Vietnam POW camp only to find themselves stocked in Germany by a mysterious government agent. It's the Forgotten, next on City's Great Movies.